Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a fluffer nutter pie. So let's get started. So we're going to start off with our crust. The first thing you want to do is you want to finely crush your cookies. I'm using my homemade peanut butter cookies for this crust. If you guys want me to do a video on that, let me know in the comments below. So now I'm just adding a little bit of melted butter and I'm going to mix that through and then I'm going to start putting it into my pan. So when you're pressing down your cookie crust into your pan, you want to make sure that everything is nice and even. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to start off with the bottom first and then I'm going to work my way up to the sides. And then eventually I start to use a measuring cup so I can get the sides nice and even and then I can also start pressing down the bottom as well. So we're going to put this in a 350 degree oven for about 5 minutes and once you take it out you're going to put it directly into the fridge. So next we're going to make our peanut butter filling. We're going to add boiling water to our gelatin. We're going to mix that a little bit and we're going to set it aside. Next we're going to add our cream cheese with our granulated sugar and also we're going to add our peanut butter as well. Next we're going to add our marshmallow fluff and we're going to mix that for a few minutes. Next you're going to add your salt and your vanilla. So now we're going to add our heavy cream and I did lower my speed just a tad bit just because I didn't want this to overbeat. So now I'm just going to do that for a few minutes and then I'm going to add my melted gelatin. So I just put this in the microwave for about 5 seconds so that I can melt down a little bit and I added it to my filling. So now we can just pour our peanut butter filling onto our crust. So this next step is optional. Before I put this in the fridge, I'm going to drizzle some melted peanut butter on top and I'm also going to add some crushed peanuts. So once that's done, you're going to put this in the fridge for 30 minutes. So now we're going to start on making our marshmallow fluff. In a pot, you're going to add water, honey, you can also use corn syrup, and sugar. Now with a candy thermometer attached to your pot, you're going to cook this until it reaches 240 degrees. So once your hot mixture has reached 230 degrees, you can start whipping up your egg whites and your cream of tartar on low speed. So once our mixture has reached 240 degrees, we're going to slowly add it to our egg whites. So you're going to mix this for about 7 to 8 minutes. Next you're going to add a pinch of salt and vanilla. So once those 8 minutes are up, you have your beautiful marshmallow fluff. So you're going to leave this at room temperature until you're ready to put it on top of your peanut butter pie. So once you take your pie out of the fridge, you can start piling up that marshmallow fluff. So now I'm just going to start smoothing the marshmallow fluff onto the pie. And I'm just going to start spreading it around. I'm not going to cover the entire pie with it just because I want the edge of the pie to like peek through. And then I'm just going to start creating these spikes on top so that way I have some height on the pie. 
So now I'm just going to drizzle some melted peanut butter and I'm going to sprinkle some crushed peanuts on top. So now I just cut one of my peanut butter cookies in half and I'm going to put this right in the center. And I'm also going to drizzle even more peanut butter on top because why not? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!